Hello friends, welcome to Electronic Circuit Hub. So today, today let us solve one more numerical based on BJT, right? So determine if if the BJT is in saturation region. So you have given one circuit here, you can see, and we have to find if the if the transistor that is BJT is in saturation or not okay so let us see how we can find if this this bjt is in saturation okay so you can see basically this is uh, this is common emitter circuit okay so you can see your emitter is common for input this is your input loop right this is your input loop and this is your output loop right so you can see your emitter is common for input and output so let us assume current flowing through your input loop is ib right and current flowing through your output loop is ic okay now our objective is to find to determine if the bjt is in saturation region so let us say how will you determine this is very interesting topic to understand to define a transistor if you are driving some circuit by using the transistor you must know you must know if your transistor is saturated or it is working in the saturation region okay so so if i say the bjt is in saturation that means it has only two state one is completely off or off and other other one is completely on or on state okay so basically if the transistor is saturated it has two state on state and it has also a off state so you must know if your transistor is saturated it has two state now let us solve this numerical this is going to be very interesting numerical right so let us let us apply kirchhoff voltage law in the in the outer loop that is that means in this loop output loop so you have to apply here kvl you you might aware of how will you apply the kvl here so so let us consider from here this is vcc so just write the equation vcc minus the voltage drop across this resistance rc so this is equals to ic into rc okay minus minus the voltage drop across this transistor that is vce equals to zero okay so so by using this equation you have to find the value of ic set that means ic saturation okay so if you find ic into rc right equals to vcc minus vce so your objective is to find the value of ic set right ic set so how will you find ic set vcc minus vce divide by rc okay if you replace the value that is vcc equals to 10 volt right minus vc equals to 0.2 volt divide by the value of rc equals to 1k so if you solve this if you solve this you you will find 9.8 volt divide by 1k so your current value is your current value is so you can find the value of ic set equals to 9.8 milli ampere okay 9.8 milli ampere if you solve this so this is this is the value of your ic set now let us let us find let us see if ib is large enough to produce the value of ic set so now let us find let us find and see if iv is large enough to produce the ic set so now this time you have to apply you have to apply kvl in input loop okay so let us use 
some other color for for input loop okay so you must apply kvl in this loop right in this loop so just apply the kvl okay so how will you apply the kvl so you can find vvv right vvv minus iv into rv minus v v e equals to zero right v v equals to zero if you solve in terms of if you solve in terms of i v so what would be your equation v v v minus v v divided by r v now uh, you have everything so your v v v is 3 volt minus v v is 0.7 volt as you already know the base to emitter voltage and the rv value is 10k if you solve this you can find that is 2.3 divided by 10k and you can find the value here 0.23 milliampere okay so your ib equals to i may write here 0.23 milliampere 0. 2 3 milliampere right so now you have iv here iv equals to 0. 0.23 milliampere so you can find the value of ic how will you find you just simply apply the formula ic equals to beta times of iv right and what is your value of beta it is 50 and if you multiply by 0 0.23 milliampere right 50 multiply by 0 0.23 milliampere you will find the value of ic equals to 11 point 11.5 milliampere right so you have let us use some different color here okay yellow so you have one value you have this right 11.5 is your ic 11.5 one value have you have 9.8 milliampere which is here this is 8.9 milliampere and other value you have iv which is 0 0.23 milliampere okay so you can see with the specific value of beta dc which is 50 given here which is 50 right which is 50 given here a specific value of beta which is 50 given here this is the base current is capable of producing an an ic greater than ic set so you have two value one you have ic this is ic and other one you have ic set this is ic set sorry if you if you see here your ic is greater than ic set that means if you further increase the base current iv which is 0 0.23 milliampere if you further increase it let's say 1 milliampere even then your ic set ic set will remain at 9.8 milliampere that shows that that shows that your transistor is in saturation and it is saturated okay it is saturated your transistor is saturated right so if you if you want to conclude this uh, that this base current is capable of producing an ic greater than ic sat therefore your transistor is saturated